STS Ronconi Day, AnakCompures.com, Ultra Video Powder T. Oi. Oh, another quagmire. Now, this one's a more personal quagmire in information technology. I'm transitioning away from a content management system known as WordPress with that god awful Guten editor to static HTML. Because I've had it, I've had it with content management systems. Here's a tip. According to Google, they prefer, they recommend that you have the fastest loading website possible. So you may not want to use WordPress. It's slow and that god damn, I fucking hate that Guten editor. I'll just be blunt and honest. That's one, that's the main reason why I'm converting anetcompares.com to static hypertext markup language. All right. So now this deals with another website, which I will not disclose. And I converted that website from that god awful Guten editor and WordPress to static HTML, hypertext markup language. I was live streaming audio on that website. And then I tested it because, you know, I converted the website and so you want to test. And the audio would not work in Mozilla Firefox web browser. And I was stumped. I was like incredulous with a chagrin. And I was like, what the fuck? So here is the solution. If you have problems streaming audio or getting audio to play in hypertext markup language with the audio tag in Mozilla Firefox and also possibly Opera, here is the possible fix. This is what fixed my problem. Here is the code. So let me quickly describe the code. Now in hypertext markup language, the current version is five, you are able to embed both audio and video because it has a built-in audio and video player. It's not the bling, bling, bling. It's not, you know, Holly weird style. It's not even Las Vegas style with the flashing lights and oh my God, the, the most gorgeous, you know, media player on the planet. Oh my God, no. It has a basic, audio player but it works very well this is my original code so in hypertext markup language you use you can use this tag to stream and play audio in your website audio controls that's the opening tag controls tells it to load controls like you know volume adjustment etc you can use the you can take out the controls if you wanted to and it would just be the audio tag but i don't want to digress about the specifics of each you know tag in hypertext markup language cuz i'm really not an expert but i know how to code some all right now you have to tell the source so this second line is just telling hypertext markup language the the source of the audio so that it will play in an embedded player on the web page and then you tell the hypertext markup language what is the type what is the type of audio that you're wanting me to play and audio slash mpeg is actually for mp3 so officially Mozilla Firefox supports mp3 although mp3 I think requires a license I could be wrong but I think Mozilla has to pay a license fee in order for you to have the ability to play mp3 audio in their web browser Mozilla Firefox. Now AUG, which I will get to, is an open source codec. They don't require a licensing fee. However, according to a Stack Overflow question post that I found, both Mozilla Firefox and Opera, they don't, they support MP3, but they don't necessarily like to support it. It doesn't work very well. So this is what fixed my problem. Now, here's the closing tag, slash audio in hypertext markup language. The forward slash closes the tag. It tells the interpreter stop. Stop with the audio controls. Stop right now. Here's the second line that I added to fix my problem. It's just this line right here that I highlighted. It, it, I'm telling it the source of the audio, 
It, it could be an MP3 file. It could be the destination on the web server to an MP3 or, an, or another audio file. Obviously, this is not, but I'm not going to get into the details here. This is what fixed it. I added in this type. So I added two types, two lines with the same source, but with two different audio types. Type equals audio slash aug. Aug is an open source audio codec that both Mozilla Firefox and Opera supports, and it's open source. And so you don't have to pay a licensing fee. You know what I'm saying? And that's what fixed it. I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's a glitch or a bug with Mozilla Firefox web browser. But according to the post from Stack Overflow, it, I guess it, it, you know both Mozilla Firefox and Opera web browsers are notorious for not necessarily being you know, MP3 friendly, even though both web browsers support MP3. So I'm just not 100% certain. All I know is I fixed the problem. Now, when I went back to that, and I can't demonstrate because it's a third-party website, it's an activist website, and I will never ever discuss it because of the American communist socialist Americans that do not want to become free. They are commies, they are control freaks, they will snitch on you, they will troll you, they will swat you ad nauseum, ad infinitum. But if you run into this problem where, for whatever reason, HTML5 audio player is not working in Mozilla Firefox web browser, this is a potential fix. You you tell you you give the HTML you stipulate two types of audio, and it actually fixed it. Before it would not work with this tag, or excuse me, with this type. I don't know why that's bizarre. But when I added the audio aug tag, it worked, and I'm my streamer the streams audio live 24 hours a day on this website it's actually the variable I stipulated was mp3 so it's streaming in mp3 but it won't play in mp3 in Mozilla Firefox so I added aug as a type and it and it plays now I added the additional line right here underneath this one in between the two tags, in between the opening and the closing, I saved it, the changes, on my web server. I cleared the web browser cache for Mozilla, and I refreshed that page, and bam, it loaded the player correctly. If if it doesn't, if it will not play, it could be it could be just you know a coding error, or in this instance, it didn't like the type. I don't know why that is. The button will be grayed out. The button will will not be grayed out and you'll be able to click on it if the stream loads correctly. It loaded correctly, I clicked on play and bam, it started playing. So that is my solution. And you can check out my blog post where I you know, discuss more about this and then you can check out the code that you'll need to enter. Now this is for audio only, this is for HTML5, hypertext markup language, and this is for embedding the the built-in audio player that HTML5 includes now, and how to get it to work in Mozilla Firefox and Opera. I did not test in Opera. I have not installed Opera web browser in like what a century. I mean, yeah, five years at least, because I never really liked Opera. Yeah, it worked okay. I just yeah, the uh, interface. The graphical user interface was just kind of, I'm sorry, but for me, it was kind of jankety. <laughs> I know that slang. Oh, I know you pale-skinned European supremacists. Number, you hate us people with color. And especially you don't like it when we use slang or we don't use proper European terms. All right. It was janky, but, you know. I should probably install Opera so I could test properly. I did have, I don't like Mozilla Firefox web browser. It's bloated. It's it's largest. Uh, although I will say, recently when I do use it to test my website, it's, it seems to be functioning faster. And whereas a couple of months ago, I'm like, "What the fuck is this shit?" It is indeed a brave new world for people with color in the European pale skin supremacist world order. The web browser Brave, you know, it, it loads it up pretty quick, but fucking Mozilla Firefox, but now recently it's much, much quicker. I'm not sure why that is, but I do not rely on Mozilla Firefox. But I, I, I understand that a lot of individuals 
on the internet they will use Mozilla Firefox, they will use Opera, and they will use Chrome. I did not test in Chrome. Now, Brave is based upon Chromium, but it's not exactly like Google Chrome web browser. So, but I should probably install. Well, let's see. I, I, I guess I should just install every web browser ever built, including Netscape and how about Lynx, the text only. <laughs> I mean, it gets ridiculous. And some of these web browser developers, they don't necessarily support all of the same media codecs. So it's just. But I am much happier with. I have two websites now that I converted from that god awful WordPress with that atrocious gluten editor. Talk about gluten, I mean intolerance, I mean gluten. I have a gluten editor intolerance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Adios.